Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Jacob Restituto. I'm a musician from Northport, New York. And today we're going breaking down in part of a series of uh, videos where I'm kind of just helping you guys do production. It's going to be like intermediate to beginner style production tips and tricks and just breaking down the lingo. Also just teaching you the, the different effects inside of um, your recording, your DAW, D-A-W. Uh, and yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy that. As always, you can leave a comment if you have any questions, or you can text me at 1 575 0948. Uh, 1833575948 if you want that again. And uh, if you want to check out my music and meet a ton to me, it's Jacob Restituto wherever you listen. Alright, so let's first off talk, talk about um, compression. So, compression is a very, it can be a tricky instrument, uh, tricky, tricky, uh, what's it called? Effect. So we're gonna talk, I, I think one of the best ways to, to see it would be a, uh, a bass. And we're gonna use my song, um, uh, Never Meant to Hurt You. And so I'm gonna turn all the effects off. Let's turn all these effects off over here. And this is, let's just take a listen to the bass. So I think this is a pretty decent example because what we have here is you can see if we zoom in, some waveforms are bigger than others. Like, so for example, right here, this one's a lot smaller than say this one or this one. And what compression does is the best way to explain it, I think, it, there's a couple of uses for it, but the most generalized use for compression is to bring the quieter parts and the louder parts a little closer together. And what it's essentially doing is it's essentially squishing it down so that when you have a quiet part like right here, and when you have a loud part, and so it brings this quiet part a little louder and it brings this quiet, uh, the, sorry, let me say that again. Brings the quiet part a little louder and the loud part a little quieter. So you have more, instead of having like something like, hey, 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 you know, where it's fluctuating and all that different kind of loudness, um, you actually, it, go, it goes from that to something a little bit more cohesive and you know, very, it's used on, you can use it on all instruments. Um, but a lot of places that play, you would use is bass or drums or uh, vocals, uh, especially because like, so for example, a singer might sing like, la da 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 da, you know, and it gets really loud when you go high or when you're really quiet when you're whispering, you know, so you could automate that within your, your, your day W and you, you can, you could draw, you know, say, oh, I want this part to be louder. You know, you could do that, but you could also kind of do it through compression. And that's what we're going to talk about today. So compression, we're going to throw on a compressor. This is the original. This, I use this compressor a lot. Inside of Logic, it's just a regular stock compressor. You go down to Dynamics, Compressor. This is what it looks like when you open it up. I very often use Vintage VCA. I like it a lot. Um, I usually turn the auto gain off. Almost actually, I always turn the auto gain off uh, because I, I want to kind of set my own gain. And this is the, the settings that I have on it. So you'll watch as... Let me make this a little smaller so you guys can see in this corner. You'll watch as the louder sections, it reduces the volume a little more than the quieter sections. So watch, ready? So for example, you see how some hit all the way over here and some only on like the, the six. So what it's doing is you're essentially raising the volume of the clip of the, the track the whole volume of the track is being pushed a little louder. And then what's happening is you're saying, above this specific threshold, I want you to reduce it. So that's essentially what's happening. You're saying, hey, this whole track, I want you to raise it by, for example, here I did 4 dB. I want it to be all raised by 4 dB. But anything above this specific threshold, I want you to actually make quieter by this amount. And you can, you can change how much you want to be quiet. So for example, watch this, I'm gonna, actually raise, I'm gonna lower the threshold so I, nothing's touching. And all it did is make it a little louder. I'm gonna go ridiculous and crush it. So see how it got really quiet because everything is now being, everything is being reduced. But, but see how much it's reducing? It's reducing about 15 dB right there. So now you want to, what you want to do is you want to find a medium. You could say how to my dog bullet upstairs. You want to find a place that you think sounds good where it's quieting the loud parts and, 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 and raising the softer parts and finding, finding a bounce that you find that you like. 
the most so this we're going to do a pretty simple version actually we're not going to go into all the de details the one thing that i do want to talk about is attack and release a lot of um daws have attack and release on on uh compressors and what that's saying is how fast do you want this compressor to co oh well you know what's funny is we have two compressors on right now that's why we because <laughs> i forgot to turn the other one off um so you weren't going to hear as much of a difference uh, it's really funny regardless um attack is how fast do you want that compressed this effect to come on how so you you're, you have a sound how fast do you want it to read and reduce the volume do you want it to be a slow you know hey we, we're going to slowly reduce the volume or hey boom as soon as it hit, hits that peak threshold it's going to shove it right back down how long at release that's that was attack now release is how quickly do you want it to you know, if, if it really, if it reduces the volume, if the volumes up here reduces it down here, how fa do you want it? As soon as it hits that threshold under the volume to shoot back up to normal, or do you want to be like, oh, we'll slowly, you know, go back to the original volume. That's the main, th main three things you need to know are att attack, release, and threshold. And, um, and then last thing we're going to talk about is output gain. So typically I've heard, you know, I'm, I'm also kind of sharing, you know, based on what, things I've learned throughout throughout my my production, is typically you want to keep the same volume, bef like throughout. So watch watch this. So we want to have a generally the same volume before we turn it on, as after. So for some reason we're getting a little bit of distortion in here somehow. So, I got I gotta go and see why we're getting that distortion. But re regardless, we let's just focus on the. Let's just focus on it's because it actually it's because it's compressing it so much. So if you compress it too much, it's gonna actually distort the sound, which is called something called you know you can actually over compress something and get a specific sound. Like if we want to over compress drums, it gives a very interesting sound. But let's compress it a lot less and let's try to find let's try to match volume. So this is off. This is on. Also fattens it up a bit. Because what you're trying to do is you don't want it to, you don't want to raise or vo lower the volume. All you're trying to do is make it a cohesive volume so that some parts don't shoot out at you and some parts aren't inaudible. You want to find this this match. Oh, part of the reason we're also compressing is uh, distorting is because the, the the attack is very low. There we go. If you have the attack and release very low, it very often will, will distort. Um, so that's about it. That's compression. Hope that helps you guys. Hope that if you have any questions, you could reach out. And hope you enjoyed that. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed that. As always, you could text me one eight three three five seven five zero nine four eight. If you have any questions, you could also leave a comment below. It'd mean a ton to me if you want to check out my music. It's Jacob Restituto, wherever you listen. And I hope you guys are enjoying this series. Let me know below if you, you like I said, if you have any questions or if you want to see anything specific, just let me know. I'd love to see it. I'll see you guys next time. God bless and peace out. What is normal life?